Hello, Leo. I'm here to give you insight for the month of April. So we're going to take a look and see what the potential main energies are for you. Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo, victory over enemies. What? Okay, Leo, you're getting victory over your enemies, okay? Or maybe somebody sees that they have victory over you. Take it as a resonance. Evil eye. What is going on? What is going on? Okay, evil eye. Okay, so somebody's throwing evil eye or somebody sees you at the, as throwing evil eye. Okay. Um, I really see it as, you know, other people throwing evil eye at Leo. It's just, yeah. You know what is going on two leo what is going on leo you're dealing with somebody who is two-faced okay when i see this card i think about a gemini so you could be dealing with the gemini who's two-faced or dealing with somebody who is two-faced who's not really showing you you know who they really are or some of you are privy to this you kind of know what the deal is you could you could see that this person is two-faced all right or somebody says you are such Justice will be served, okay? So justice will be served, Leo, whether it be in your favor or, you know, the favor of the other person you're dealing with, okay? Or just justice taking place, whether you or the other person likes it or not, okay? So justice will be served here. Oh, God. So, Leo, you're dealing with somebody who's lying, not really being honest, or somebody can see you as such. Trust issues. So there are some trust issues here, Leo. You could uh, have trust issues with somebody or somebody uh, doesn't trust you. And then I see that uh, some of you are cutting cords uh, during this time. All right. What is going on? Leo. Actually, I don't Let's put the red on for Leo. Okay. Wow. Split the cards. We have five of swords. So you could be dealing with some hating ass people, toxic people. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Venus and Aquarius. All right. Um, okay. All right. And then we have the magician here. So. <laughs> oh, man. I better not see no damn magic up in here. Okay. It's just. Oh. Lord, just a manipulative type of energy, toxic ass type of energy. That's just not good. Okay, let's see what's going on with Leo in the month of April. Leo, 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 what's going on with Leo, Leo in the month of April? What's going on with Leo in the month of April? Leo, Leo, I wanted to say Libra for a moment. You could be dealing with a Libra or have Libra in your chart. What's going on with Leo? Okay, so we got the page of chalices here. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A child could be a focus for you or some of you are experiencing new emotional feelings or you're trying to um, initiate uh, like new feelings. Like this, I was hearing like the re reset button, like pressing reset when it comes to your emotions. I do see um, also an offer coming from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, you could have this in your chart here. All right, Six of Pentacles, yes, love that. Six of Pentacles, so there is definitely somebody who is wanting to offer you something tangible. They wanna offer you security. This could be a Moon and Taurus person, or it could be um, Capricorn Taurus, like I said, or Virgo energy here. You could have this in your chart, but there is somebody who wants to offer you something. They wanna offer you something tangible and something um, secure and stable here. All right, the Ace of Swords, like, yes, <laughs> they do. You could very well be the person that's wanting to offer something tangible and um, something solid here, okay? I was also hearing reciprocity. So it's an equal exchange here. Uh, if that's not the case, I do see a new opportunity presenting itself in the form of money, finances. It's a yes here. I, I see here as a yes. Yeah, King of Chalices. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Um, 
or you could have this in your chart. So this is feeling very fulfilled. Okay, this King of Chalice could be somebody else that you're dealing with. Somebody I was hearing they don't want to let you go. Whoever this person is, they don't want to let you go. Uh, Leo, okay, maybe you don't want to let this person go. Um, I was hearing their emotions are running wild. So it could be if it's not somebody you're dealing with, this is like a, a, a water sign person where their emotions are running wild here. I was hearing they can't stand it. So it could be, you know, a hater. You know, Cancer Pisces Scorpio that can't stand what you have with the, you know, the Six of Pentacles, you know, um, energy here. Ace of Swords is saying, yes, this is the truth. This is what it is. Okay, what is going on? What else is, <laughs> what else is going on with Leo? Leo. Uh, oh, wow, somebody was saying Leo was the hater. What? Okay, temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. So, um, this is, I was hearing coming together. So, it could be a Sagittarius that wants to come together with you. They want to have balance. They want to have, um, I was hearing just reciprocity as well. I was hearing like an equal exchange here. Okay, you could very well have this energy or have this between you and this person. Um, seven of chalices, but there is, uh, seems to be some uh, blurred lines I was hearing with the seven of chalices. Uh, there is an energy of not really knowing what you want. So if it's not you as the person that you're dealing with, they, they, one part, one side of them wants that reciprocity. They want to heal. They want that balance, but they're kind of lost in the sauce and it could be because they have a lot of other things going on, but we'll get some clarification on that. All right. We have the chariot here. So cancer energy here. Um, two number seven. So the seven is the uh, house of Libra. It's relationships and partnerships here. So I was hearing driving the boat. <clears throat> okay. So the seven of chalices here, this is like confusion here. So it could be a cancer energy that's trying to create confusion or somebody who is, I was hearing like a night rider. Okay. Somebody who's trying to conceal their identity or, or whatever. And they're trying to start things or start shit from behind the scenes here they're trying to drive the boat or trying to create some type of confusion we'll get some clarity on that if that's not the case this is you coming out of this confusion if this is you you're coming out of this confusion you're getting back in the driver's seat here okay so the seven of chalices is just a lot going on not really kind of feeling out of touch just this is also um this is the um lord of um illusionary success so somebody uh, has an idea of what they want or an idea of what um, success is all right but they're I don't know in a way it's kind of it's somewhat delusional or they're not really bringing these thoughts or these ideas down into their reality okay it could either be one of those here but I see that you're moving out of this energy here Leo or this person's moving out of this energy here and they're in the chariot energy where they're moving forward okay they're back in the driver's seat yes another number seven seven is here three times so seven 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 is a number of of god okay it's a spiritual number i was hearing you're overcoming your enemies leo so this is mars and leo with the seven of wands so very well you could be overcoming your enemies leo yeah here you are the sun so yeah somebody was trying to i don't know <laughs> they were trying let me just say that they tried okay but failed miserably okay what is this what is this um six of what's this, what is the six of pentacles what is the six of pentacles this is definitely an even exchange this is also um energy of feelings of feelings being mutual i was hearing the feel um the feelings are mutual I was hearing the feelings are mutual. What is the six of pentacles? The six of pentacles. There is also an energy of somebody wanting to invest in you, Leo. Okay. Somebody sees you as, you know, um, an asset or, you know, an addition to their life in some way. That's what I was hearing. Six of pentacles is the knight of wands. So this is a Sagittarius. Uh, could be Aries, could be another Leo, but this is a Sagittarius that wants to invest in you, that is really into you, sexually attracted to you, like they literally have the hats for you, they, 
they <laughs> they're really into you okay um, I was here I don't want to be a player no more so it could be somebody with this energy coming back and they don't want to be a player more no more or this could be you all right I was also hearing infiltrating so it could be a fire sign person that's wanting to infiltrate the six of Pentacles energy here I was also hearing I'm going after what I want what is this king of chalice giving what is this king of chalice King of Chalice is the Ten of Cups. Wow. So there is somebody who wants to literally marry you or you very well could be married to this person. I was hearing we've been through ups and downs, but here we stand. So um, there could have been a, like emotional roller coaster with this person. Okay. Ups and downs. But I do see for some of you Leos, you know, you have this um, joy. You have this fulfillment. This is somebody who loves you. Okay. Who really loves you. They could just be very complicated here. Okay. Being that they're a uh, water sign. Okay. <laughs> or they could have water like energy here. I was hearing mutable. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is Mars and Pisces energy. This is the Lord of perfected success. Okay. So somebody very well wants this with you. They want this type of environment, you know, where the, it's, there's happiness, there's joy, you know, the kids are dancing, having a good time. I was hearing I just want harmony. Okay, what is the Seven of Cups giving? What the hell is the Seven of Cups giving? Because that energy did turn me off a bit. Seven of, seven of Chalice. Is this, okay, that's what I'm talking about, this goddamn bullshit. Okay, somebody is trying to keep you stuck, Leo. They're, they, they, they want to bind you. They want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you confused and all this bullshit. And it's like, no. Okay, we got the chariot. So somebody was trying to do that to you. Okay, or this is the energy of someone feeling stuck, feeling kind of lost in, in their, you know, I was hearing desires, being lost in their thoughts. You know, like I said, it was illusionary success. So kind of fixated on something that's not really realistic. Let's marry these cards. I don't like this shit. Somebody was definitely trying to get you hemmed up, Leo, and keep you stuck and keep you confused. Okay, but it's not going to fucking happen. This is sick. Let's marry these cards. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. They want to keep you stuck because you're beautiful, you're successful. I was hearing like luxurious or whatever. Okay. Um, all right, this is the material gains. They want to keep you stuck because they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to get the, get the bag. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to be prosperous. It's sick. Okay, this is Venus and Virgo. So you could have Venus and Virgo. All right. What is this chariot? I knew I knew I was picking up on some bullshit with the seven of cups here. Okay. And, and then to clarify it was the eight of swords. Like, come on now. All right. Like, because you already are free. You're free already. And so this person, you know, wants to hem you up or keep you stuck. Okay. Somebody's doing this. All right. They want to, they want to, instead of you being free, they want to, they want to tie you up. So you go from the eight of swords to the nine of cups. Or excuse me, nine of pentacles here. So they're like, want, they don't want you to be free. All right. Or they don't want you to be single. What is this uh, chariot giving? What is this chariot? The chariot is giving the hierophant. Wow. So taking back control here. I was here moving towards your destiny, Leo. Um, some of you could very well be moving towards a Taurus individual. This could also be a marriage. So some of you could be very well married or you're um, focusing on your marriage. You're focusing on your union here. I was hearing equally yoked. Okay. Um, but you're moving towards, you know, just, I don't know why I was hearing stability. The Hierophant's definitely giving stability. Um. This is also hidden knowledge here. So, uh, Leo, some of you could have hidden knowledge. I don't know why I was hearing going back to the drawing board. Let's marry these cards, the Chariot and the Hierophant. I was hearing as above, so below. You get what you put out, whoever this is. All right, we got the Knight of Swords. Wow, that is wild. So, what is this saying? I was hearing taking no nonsense. 
okay so you have strong belief systems you're going back to your belief systems which are very strong okay um i was hearing i call it as i see it and i'm gonna fucking nip it in the butt okay so this could very well be your energy you could have very strong belief systems you could have um like you know a lot of wisdom sacred knowledge here and you know what i mean you're making it known okay I was hearing I call it how I see it, okay? And I'm nipping it in the butt. And this is like Knight, Knight of Swords here, nipping it in the butt, okay? Um, if that's not the case, um, it could be that somebody is trying to control you with their beliefs. or so, Yeah, somebody's trying to control someone with their beliefs. And this Knight of Swords is not having that. What is the Seven of Wands? Seven of Wands is the Lord of Courage. This is overcoming challenges. This is setting boundaries, okay? Um... I was also hearing taking a leap of faith. Okay. This is an energy that's kind of dangerous here. So some of you could be dealing with some like, I don't know. It could be dangerous connections with people. People who are maybe not so, people who are not really safe. Okay. You're dealing with people who are not really safe. Take that as it resonates. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Wands is the Eight of Pentacles, the Lord of Prudence. So... I feel like a lot of you are overcoming the, the obstacles and overcoming the bullshit, setting some healthy boundaries and focusing on self-development or focusing on work, focusing on um, creating abundance in your life. Like you're putting in the work. This is definitely an energy of um, overcoming obstacles. And here you are, Leo, the star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right, I was hearing I'm focused on my goals. Hmm. What else do we got going on? Oh, let me see here. I want to see what this um, page of chalice is giving. Okay. And this temperance. What is this page of chalice? Page of chalice. What is this page of chalice giving? Um, some of you could be um, co-parenting, I see here. Uh, a Sagittarius or fire sign person or energies could be coming back because they wanted to co-parent. Um... All right, so some of you could be getting along. Um, I was hearing having a mutual understanding here for the sake of your child. Page of Chalice, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. It very well could be child support or something like that. If this is not the case, this is this person wants to offer you something fucking solid. Okay, they want to be here for the long one. They want to invest in you, Leo. Okay, or you want to invest in somebody. What is the Temperance? What is the Temperance? I was hearing I'm giving my all. Okay, you're getting yours off top, Leo. Temperance is the six of swords here. So temperance is all about balance. It's healing. Okay, I was hearing recovery. Uh, the six of swords, um, you know, it's moving forward. It's moving towards calmer waters. It's Mercury and Aquarius. So this is just like moving on. This is like, I don't want any choppy waters. I don't want to deal with the bullshit. I just want to, you know, move forward, you know. So I feel like the Sagittarius or this energy here wants to move forward. Or you may want to move forward. You don't, you don't want the nonsense anymore. You don't want to fight. You don't want the BS. You just, you don't want to deal with that anymore, okay. You're not afraid to turn your back on people who do not have your best interests, okay. Or there's, there's, there's somebody in this energy, okay. If you don't have their best interest, they will just, or if someone doesn't have their best interest, they will move on, okay? Or if they just want to fight and just be fucking toxic. Like, this is the energy of, like, I don't want a headache. I don't want to deal. I want to, let me do this. I'll keep going back and forth, guys. Sorry. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this, this Ace of Swords? This truth, this, yes. Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the death. Ooh. Okay, so dead at it. Okay, so this is this is seeing the truth. Okay, so some of you um, Leos are discovering the truth or seeing the reality reality of a situation, and maybe some of you are deading it or putting an end to whatever this is here. What is this ending? This is also transformation. This is um, getting some type of knowledge and then transforming or transmuting the energy. Let's marry these cards: Ace of Swords and the Death. Ace of Swords and a death. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, wow. So some of you could be finding the truth out about family or something. 
Okay, some truth could be revealed about family or maybe an organization, Ten of Pentacles. Um, there could be, it could have been an energy directed towards your family or, or, or your finances or, or what you have created here. Okay, the truth has came out about it and maybe you did it, the situation, or you transmuted the situation. Yeah, I'm looking at the other card it says chariot yeah okay for some of you this could have been somebody passing in your family or something like that some transformation some changes taking place in your family okay or the family dynamic if it's not your family this could be maybe the family that you're connected with or maybe your partner's family or somebody's family or like I said it could be an organization you know the work environment. All right, what else is going on? Okay, give me some insight for Leo for the month of April. Give me some more insight. Okay, Leo, we got dreams, messages, and sleep, spiritual downloads. So you're getting some spiritual downloads, Leo, or you needed to pay very close attention to your dreams here. All right. Um, if you're not in a dream state, it could be in your wa walking life, okay? You're, you have um, some wisdom here or some spiritual downloads that you're receiving here, which could help you move forward, which can help direct your footsteps forward here, okay? Um, yeah, the spiritual download, I feel like that really connects with the Hierophant here. Because some of you definitely have some strong spiritual beliefs caution look first so you need to be cautious with the people that you're dealing with okay or connected with or encountering i was hearing i already know observe high alert listen to your intuition once again leo lost so there is somebody who's lost so maybe you felt lost okay and this makes a lot of sense because it could be that somebody is sending this stank ass weak ass energy to you to keep you stuck leo so if you are feeling stuck right now you need to shake that shit off okay tap into that chariot energy all right anxiety frustration disconnected you very well could be feeling this this energy here and it could be because somebody put you in that energy or it could be self-sabotage maybe you're putting yourself in this energy all right the seven of chalices could talk about you know maybe overindulging in things kind of they're just not seeing things very clearly it could be because of substances okay tempers does talk about moderation or maybe doing things in excess okay so be mindful of that happy all right so you're focused on happiness or you just want to be happy fulfillment pleasure you are definitely receiving this happiness i see for some of you with this uh king of chalice and the ten of cups here so you are receiving this happiness all right this could very well be somebody new coming into your life or somebody that's currently in your life now i was also hearing somebody returning here that's for some of you not all of you okay what else is going on here i was hearing that the king of chalice could also be you represent you leo some of you could be a leo um cancer cusp all right lightning strike wow oh yeah here okay so there is some major <laughs> like things happening here i feel like some major shocks here it says unexpected shocking blockage destruction okay so i feel like with this lightning strike this could be um, representing you freeing yourself okay this lightning energy here if that's not the case I see this as just just some striking or some um, uh, shocking news and it makes a lot of sense with the ace of swords here um, being clarified with the death card so some major changes taking place or some news being reviewed uh, revealed to you it's it's also une unexpected okay um, I was hearing lightning striking down on somebody what oh hell transformation yes okay we're going back to the death card here so there is definitely some transformation taking place evolution going through phases 
And then we have spirit guides, signs, divine guidance. It makes a lot of sense with the Hierophant card here. So you're being divinely guided and you're needing to listen to your intuition, Leo. Okay. Seclusion. So some of you are wanting to be left alone. Okay. You're, you're, you're not wanting to be bothered. You're not wanting to deal with this bullshit. So you're in seclusion right now. You don't want to be a part of the team. For some of you, you could be severing ties with an organization or the people that are in your work environment. You could be setting some healthy boundaries, you know, secluding yourself. You know, I feel like some of you are being a team player, but you're just not being engulfed in the whole work politics here so it says unavailable emotionally shut down solitude isolation so you could be in this energy or it's somebody who's currently in seclusion right now i was also hearing like out of touch i was also hearing going back to the king of chalices and ten of cups this is a strong desire somebody could have this strong desire here all right and then we have moving on so uh some of you are moving on okay closure change relocation makes a lot of sense you are moving on after a very toxic and difficult time or you're encouraged to do so okay some of you are definitely needing that closure okay um all right there is an energy of somebody holding on to the past not moving on I was hearing something is dead and over with, okay? And you need to just move on, okay? Or you may want somebody to move on. Foggy, unclear, blurred, perception. Makes a lot of sense with the Eight of Swords here, okay? All right, then we're going to close out the reading for Leo. Okay, Leo, let's close out the reading. Leo's advice going forward for their ultimate success. Wow, wisdom. So like I was saying with the Hierophant, you're needing to use your wisdom. Your wisdom's gonna definitely help you overcome challenges, okay? It's gonna help you overcome complacency as well. So you need to use your wisdom. I was hearing be smart. Okay, two more cards. Oh, I just pulled them. Okay, spring and forgiveness. So spring, all right, so I feel like we have already entered spring already. This is an opportunity for you to start something new. I was hearing fertile. Some of you could be very fertile during this time, okay, like literally fertile so you can get pregnant. So <laughs> be mindful of that. If that's not the case, it's just fertile with new ideas. Um, also, I see new opportunities here. I do see like a little bird's nest in our hair and two little birds here so this is like an energy of nurturing so i do feel like you know you're going to be feeling very nurtured during this time or maybe you're needing to nurture yourself and then forgiveness you're needing to forgive yourself or maybe to forgive others all right that's going to help you move forward and then i am true truth okay so this is trusting your intuition trusting your instincts i see here Speaking your truth, Ace of Swords. All right. I was hearing stand on it. All right. So, Leo, this is the end of your reading. God bless.